Quantization of AI models have enabled many to play around with AI models which would not be possible otherwise. Quantization of an AI model refers to the process of converting the model's parameters and computations from floating point numbers to lower bit representations such as integers. This technique is used to optimize AI models for deployment on resource constrained devices like commodity GPUs or even mobile phones. Quantization can reduce the model size, increase inference speed and decrease power consumption making it more suitable for run of the mill AI applications. There are various types of quantization such as PTQ or post training quantization that is applied after the model is fully trained. Then we have quantization of aware training or QAT that means incorporating during the training process. Now in this video I am going to introduce you to a new technique called as efficient quantization aware training. We will not only go through the theory of it but also we will see a demo of it. The thing is that all these recent progress in LLMs have demonstrated impressive capabilities in diverse language tasks such as reasoning, cognitive processing and agent based applications. But these models are characterized by their extensive parameters which pose significant challenges for memory footprint and bandwidth. Quantization aware training or QAT is one of the most effective quantization techniques to date. It works by minimizing quantization errors through training with quantization constraints. Though QAT can compress LLMs effectively without significantly um, doing any performance loss, it requires training the whole LLM on a large corpus resulting in enormous training cost. As I said, it is done during the training. For instance, the QAT method BitNet can achieve nearly lossless ternary quantization but it requires retraining LLMs from scratch using the full pre-trained dataset which is impractical for extremely large models. And that is where this efficient QAT enters. This quantization technique is to compress LLMs effectively and efficiently. Efficient QAT surpasses existing PTQ and QPEFT and QAT methods in performance while maintaining memory efficiency during training and inference. To improve quantization efficiency and accuracy, efficient QAT involves two consecutive phases. First, it has blockwise training of all parameters and end-to-end -end training of quantization parameters. Block AP sequentially conducts quantization aware training for all parameters including the original full precision weights and quantization parameters in each transformer block with blockwise reconstruction. While doing that, it preserves memory efficiency by avoiding training the entire LLM and that is the secret sauce of it. So I hope that it was clearer. Now. It is a very very new project, very new project. So don't expect it to uh, perform extremely well out of the box as of yet. And I will also show you. Also, you cannot split the weights across multiple GPUs for inference with current implementation. Um, also, it takes a bit longer at the moment to do the inference, and by bit it is in quite a long, I would say. So I think. Uh, very very early project so let's not get into more uh, you know criticism maybe I will show you how to get it installed and then run with it before that I will show you on their github repo they already have provided some of the links on hugging face of various models they have quantized like llama to 13 billion 70 billion llama 3 in various flavors so for example if you look at this one uh, Lama 370 billion instruct and you will see that for 70 billion model they have been able to bring it down to just 22 gig how good is that so if I go up this is a model size in GB and you can access the link to the hugging face for example this is one of the Lama 3 8 billion they did and it is already present in the hugging face now let me take you to my uh, terminal and I will show you where I have installed it and by the way, the terminal and the GPU which I am using is courtesy to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this video. 
if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out okay so let me quickly take you to my terminal where i already have been playing with it and i will show you the whole steps don't worry so this is where i have installed this one you can see that llama 3 8 billion instruct efficient qt so what i did was i just created a conda environment then i launched my python interpreter i have just used the usual tokenizer and uh, model from hugging face you don't have to log in there simply run this command it has downloaded the token it has downloaded the model and then after it downloads it it just has produced the whole layers which were used lot of data there lot and lot of and this took a bit of a time by the way then it loaded it onto my gpu and now i have asked it the inference and it has taken around four to five minutes and it has still running so and it is running on gpu 48 gp of gpu and still running uh, and um, i have tried it on various configurations still i don't know what the heck is going on there so anyway and i have seen in previous attempts it takes around eight to ten minutes to even return a uh, single response so anyway uh, but the idea behind qt is so enticing that i'm just hoping that they would improve it as soon as possible so that we would be able to run it properly anyway if you are also interested in reading the paper they have a very very nicely written paper around efficient qat which you can uh, read through also another thing i wanted to share with you guys is that um, for them it took around 41 hours to quantize the 70 billion model on a100 and they just used one gb so i think from the timing wise uh, it is the latency is huge not only for training but also for quantization and then inference so that is what one area they really need to work if they want to make it practical for the common usage if you want to do your own quantization with the help of it all you need to do is to follow these installation steps just git clone this repo and i will drop the link in video description create conda environment make sure to keep it 3.9 and then because all the requirements are related to this and then once you done that you can simply i'll just quickly take you down so this is how you do the training you just use their provided script this shell script and then there you provide your training size your value size and then a validation size and then your where you want to save it you can also train it on this uh, data set they are using this red pajama or alpaca you can use this or maybe you can even modify it to use your own and then later on if you want to do the inference you can simply download it like this and then either you can do in this way or you could do it in the way which i showed you earlier where i was used the hugging face one so this is there is to it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comments happy to um, answer any questions or maybe you could also post them here on their repo if you're interested also make sure to read through this paper if you're more interested that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please subscribe to the channel and if you're, and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching